हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ सौरभ शर्मा एंड दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ आवर जेंगो रिएक्ट सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डूइंग सम चेंजेस टू आवर हेडर एंड फुटर सो दिस इज हाउ आवर प्रोजेक्ट लुक लाइक करेंटली सो एज यू कैन सी देर इज नथिंग सो मच स्टाइलिंग एंड दिस इज़ द थीम विच वी यूज फ्रॉम बूट्स वॉच विच विच चेंज द स्टाइलिंग ऑफ दिस टेक्स्ट सो in this video we will change the header and uh, and we will add new bar with the help of react bootstrap so this is the website of react bootstrap which is reactbootstrap.github.io so go to this website and uh, we will be, there are lot uh, lot of things we can use from here in our project so there uh, there are lot of neighbors and uh, this is uh, same like bootstrap but uh, uh, the code is uh, some the code have some changes for uh, for the react jsx language so let's move to our project so i uh, i have started the server and uh, so this is our project so this is footer so firstly we will change the footer and uh, after that or or let's start it with the header so we will add header here or just remove this and uh, go to here and let's copy a new bar so we will be using this new bar first one so copy this and uh, paste here and uh, we need to properly ident this okay and uh, i think there are some mistake because we don't need nav drop down and uh, we don't need form currently which is for search we will be we will later add this search form but currently we don't need this and uh, i will change this to cart and this one to login currently we uh, we don't have any link so i will change this to login so this is temporary and we will uh, use a react method for changing the url but currently just for a demo purpose i am using this type of links cart and uh, change the title to my cart and i think everything everything is okay so open our browser and it says that the navbar is not defined so we have to import navbar from bootstrap so go to our code and here type imp and here type react bootstrap and here the name of our method so name will be nav and uh, navbar okay save this refresh this okay so here is a uh, navbar but uh, this uh, it's not looking uh, much beautiful so let's darken this we will change the background color of this navbar so go to here and in the bg type dark and uh, let's see it become dark but uh, the text i want this text to be white so we can add variant here so 
variant make uh, variant make this look like uh, let me show you variant equals to dark save this and okay so now this looks perfect and uh, let's move this uh, to uh, some uh, right side because it's going too much to the left so i will put this uh, put this my cart into the container so from here i will use container container and uh, paste this to after collapse and it's giving error let's see Okay, we have not cropped this from here. So crop from here and everything should be okay. So go here and it says container is not defined. So we have to import container also. So type here container. Container. So let's move here and refresh this so as you can see it uh, it has moved little right side and and this is looking perfect now let's change this footer to uh, so that it can it moves to down and in it should be in the center so go to our code and uh, go to footer so here is our footer.js remove this terminal and here uh, so here i will be using a bootstrap class called uh, text center so i will put this into uh, in the row so R O W row and uh, here put this like this one and uh, okay now change the class here so as you know in react we use class name instead of class so like this and type here text center and uh, let's see so is not defined so we have to import row and column from uh, bootstrap so import like this row column from react bootstrap now this should work reload this okay now it's uh, it has moved to the center and uh, we need to move it to, to the bottom so that uh, uh, we we have a space for our main content and it should always stick to the bottom because it's a footer so go to the code base and uh, what we can do is 
here we have our index dot css so we will do some changes here so if i see in my app dot js here is our main tag so we can adjust the length of our main tag so we will target this main tag for our index.css so if i go to our here so here type main and uh, minimum height that will be around uh, 80 which okay like this and uh, if i check this okay so it as you can see it has moved to the bottom so now we can do changes here so we will also we can use font awesome font awesome to add some icons here so if i go here and uh, type font uh, one second cdn js cdnjs font awesome and go to here one second type font here and copy this link tag go to our code base and uh, in the index.html paste this link tag here so i will paste this here and uh, save this now we have cdn for font uh, awesome now we can use their icons so if i if i go to header.js and uh, in the my cart let's make it like this and uh, Here we will be changing the cart icon. So type uh, i tag and uh, here type class name. The so class name will be font awesome, font awesome, font awesome shopping cart. I think that's correct for the icon actually I have remembered this name because I have used this before so if I save this and open this so as you can see here is a cart icon now let's log in icon also so go here come here and type here use i tag I tag and uh, class name will be font awesome font awesome user so if I refresh this okay i don't need refresh so we can see the login and uh, this uh, user icon so this is how we can customize this and uh, in the same way we can customize our footer so let's check if we have footer in our bootstrap thing so react bootstrap dot github and uh, you can use your uh, own icons uh, and, and own method of customizing the, i am just giving you a reference but uh, that doesn't mean that uh, you use the same uh, navbar you can choose different one and if you see it's uh, uh, it's responsive also so like this so let's search for, uh, search for a footer i think uh, they should provide the footer also full tips spinners okay i think they uh, they don't have the footer 
but uh, that's not the problem we will be using our custom footer so go you should go and explore so many things here and use in the project and uh, we will see some more things in the next video because if i cover more things in the video in this video then it become uh, some confusing so that's it for the video and uh, see you in the next video